हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द लास्ट वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम वी डिस्कस्ड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ प्रोसेस क्रिएशन एंड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड द एग्जांपल ऑफ यूनिक्स ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम टू सिस्टम कॉल्स वी डिस्कस्ड देयर वाज फॉर्क सिस्टम कॉल एंड ई एक्स ई सी एल पी सिस्टम कॉल विच आर विच वॉज यूज फॉर uh the creation of a child process <coughs> with the help of uh these system calls uh in the last of that lecture uh we raised a question on the basis of uh on the concept of process hierarchy and we have we were discussed we were discussing the question that if we consider this process hierarchy in operating system the example which you are discussing was this that if a is a parent process and it has three child processes b c and d in which b is having a child process as e c is having two child processes named f and g and g is having a child process name h so our question was how is this process hierarchy is implemented by the operating system so for this the operating system if we discussed uh, discuss the solution for this then the operating system maintains a separate pointer chain to link the related pcbs what i mean to say is as we know that these all child processes are interconnected to each other or linked to each other and each of these processes having their are having their own process control blocks so first the operating system maintains a separate pointer chain to link their uh, related pcbs in this case the pcb for each process contains most broadly three fields first is the name of process and two additional fields where this first field denotes the address of first child of a process and the second field denotes the address of next child for the parent this field denotes the address of first child of parent and this field denotes address of the next child of the parent so by using this pcb diagram the operating system maintains a chain like this uh one more uh, point to consider here is if any one of this field if any one of this field this address field is denoted by shaded it means it is containing nothing or it is denoting null part okay so we have this example i'm going to solve this example with the help of this pcb concept i am drawing this example in short here that is a b c d these are child of this 
B is having a child named E, C is having F and G and G is having H. So start with the hierarchical diagram. First we are having A. So A will be noted like will be maintained in the operating system like PCB A. I'm taking in the name as PCB A and it is having two parts two address parts first part is the address of first child so who is the first child of A it is B so it will be linked the next PCB I call it as PCB of B which in turn again having two parts this part of A will denote the address of next child of parent if we see that A is, is the parent A is the root node so it has no parent so this field will denote nothing now for B its left pointer part will be relate will be connected to the PCB of its left child B is having a, a child E so it will contain it will be linked to PCB of E and PCB uh, जो PCB का second part है address part the second part of the PCB of B will denote will be connected to the address of address of next child if you see here the address of next child for the parent so the address of the next child of parent is who is the parent of B is A and who is the next child C so it will be connected to the PCB of C which is again having two parts which we'll discuss later now if you look at E E is neither have left child and E's parent is B so E is neither have left child so this field will be null and uh, uh, the child the parent of B's uh, is B and B is not having the next child if we see here B is not having any further child so this field will again denote null now come to C C is having a left child as F so this will be connected to the PCB of F having two the fields and the PCB's, uh, PCB of C is, uh, C is having parent A who's the uh, does parent A has further child yes D so the second part of C will be connected to the PCB of the next child of its parent which is PCB D having two parts we'll discuss later further now come to F if you see PCB uh, of F now F does F is having any child no so it will be null does F parent which is C is having further child yes G so it will be linked to the PCB of PCB of what G G which is having two elements we'll discuss later now come to D does D is having any child no so it will be null does D D's parent which is A is having further next child no so this field will again denote null now come to this G part 
does g is having any child yes which is h so it will be connected to the pcb of h having two attached parts now the parent of g which is c is having any further child apart from f and g no so it will denote null okay now come to h does h is having any child no so it will denote null does h parent which is g is having any child further no so it will denote again null so this is how the hierarchies are maintained in operating system with the help of the pcb so this hierarchy which we were discuss uh, discussing in the last lecture that is uh, this process creation hierarchy will be maintained in the operating system with the help of pcbs like this that is pcb a and all this and this shaded blocks thank you so much in the in the next lecture we will discuss the next operating system service which is called as process termination and uh, their related system calls thank you